Hello and welcome back to SciTai Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a very simple nightlight with using a broken LED light bulb. And I'm going to show you how to modify it and place this LED circuit inside. Let's get started. And these are the items you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is an LED light bulb, an electrical plug, a 1.8K ohm resistor, a rectifier diode, a perf board, and an LED. And this right here is the schematic that you're gonna to need to make for this simple circuit. Now let's go ahead and assemble this project and let's get started. First, I'm gonna cut out two slits in the bottom of this LED. And there we go. Next, I'm going to take a slit screwdriver and pry open the holes to make them a little bit bigger. Next, I'm going to take these flush cutters, stick them inside the hole, pry it open a little bit, and cut it. Open it up and cut off the excess. And there, now you have a square hole inside the LED. Next, what I want to do is open up the globe of the LED. And I'm going to take a hot air gun and melt the adhesive that is holding the globe to the housing. Doing this will allow me to remove the globe very easily. And there, it pops off, just like this. Next, what I'm going to do is take a slit screwdriver and pry out this circuit carefully without damaging the housing. Push it out. Next, I'm going to take these needle nose pliers, go over to the electrical cord that's inside and pull out the live wire. And now pull out the neutral wire. And there, the entire circuit is now removed. And as you can see, some surface mount components are potentially useful. I'll have to examine it to see if it still works. Next, what I need to do is shorten this electrical cord. It's a little bit too long. Next, I'm gonna take a Zacto knife and separate the two wires. And now remove the insulation on both of the wires. And now twist the wires. And to make sure that this plug is upright, this part here is a neutral, and this part here is the live. And this is the orientation that the plug needs to be in. Next, solder to the perf board, because that's where the electrical cord is going to connect to. There we go. Next, I need to solder to the electrical cord. And there we go, should look just like this. This is upright, so now I need to move it over in this angle and solder it into place. And now what I wanna do is take the perf board and bend it over just like this. As you can see, the perf board is a little bit too long, so I need to shorten it. And there, it fits a lot better. Perfect. Next, I'm going to take the 1.8K ohm resistor, place it into the perf board, bend over the leads, solder it into place. Next, take the diode, where this is cathode, and that's the anode, and the anode needs to connect to the mains, and the cathode needs to connect to the resistor. Place it into the perf board. Bend over the leads and solder the cathode over to the resistor. Now move the anode over to the mains. Solder it into place. And I'll cut off the excess. Next, I'm going to take the LED. This side's cathode, this side's anode. And I want to take the cathode and connect it to mains. And then the anode over to the resistor. Bend over the cathode lead, just like this. Place it into the birth board near the center. 
Move the cathode over to the mains, and then hold the LED flush with the perf board, and then bend over the anode over to the resistor. Solder it into place, and then solder bridge it over to the resistor. Cut off the excess, shorten the cathode lead, solder it in it, and then solder it over to the mains. And there, the circuit is now complete. Let's go ahead and test it out. And now plug it in. And there, as you can see, the LED lights up, and uh-oh, the resistor is burning. That means there's too much power going through the resistor. Since this resistor is a half a watt, that's not a surprise. And as you can see, I replaced the resistor with a 2 watt 33k ohm resistor. This resistor is higher wattage and higher resistance. I would prefer if the resistance was a little bit lower so the LED would shine a lot brighter, but this was the only resistor that I had of this wattage. And as you can see, I replaced the diode with a higher wattage diode. This wasn't necessary, but I just felt better with putting a higher wattage diode. And now let's go ahead and test it out. Plug it back in, and there, as you can see, the LED lights up, and there is no smoke. Unfortunately, the LED isn't as bright as I want it to be, but that's okay. Touching the resistor, it's not at all getting hot. That's very good. Next, I'm going to take some hot glue and place it all over the perf board. And now glue it to the electrical plug. Add some more hot glue to insulate those wires. And I'll take the entire circuit and place it inside of the housing. There we go, in just right. And now add some more hot glue to glue it into place. Wait for it to solidify. And now add more hot glue on the bottom. And there, this part is now complete. Now I wanna make one more test. I'm gonna take the plug and plug it in, and I wanna take the globe and put it on top. I wanna to see how this looks. And there, as you can see, it works very well. Unfortunately, there's too much light concentrated on the top. So what I need to do is modify the LED. I'm gonna take these flush cutters and carefully cut off the tip of the LED. Doing this will allow the LED light to disperse more evenly. And now let's go ahead and test it out one more time. Put the glow back on, plug it in. And there, that looks a lot better. Next, take some super glue and put it on the circumference of the housing. And now spray some activator onto the globe. And then attach the two parts together. Carefully. Pop it together, and there, it is now glued into place. Wait for the glue to cure. And there, it's on nice and strong. And there, the project is now complete. Now let's go ahead and test it out in the dark. I'm inside of a room that can get very dark. Take the LED light bulb, plug it into the wall outlet, and there it lights up. Turn off the lights, and there it lights up perfectly. And as you can see, that's a very nice night light. And there you have it. Now you know how to make your very own simple night light with using a broken LED light bulb. Thank you for watching SciTitech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, click the bell icon to be notified for future SciTitech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.